Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to download an image from Google so that you can use it in Cricut Design Space. So first we are going to go to Google and I've already started typing in free heart SVG. So I'm going to go ahead and look that up. You'll want to click on images. And for purposes of the video, I'll just click on this one here. So over here on the right hand side, it will pop up on my screen. I'm not sure how your computer is set up. But so at this point, I want to right click on the image and click Save Image As. When you click on Save Image As, it's going to pop up where you want to save it in your computer. So make sure you remember where you're saving it under. So I'm going to click on Save Image As. And for mine, I'm just going to click on Saving It Under Downloads. I'm going to save it as Heart. Click Save. Okay, so next I'm going to open up my Cricut Design Space. And while that is opening up, don't forget where you saved it or maybe you need to write it down so that you can remember where you saved it or maybe make it a folder under downloads. So at this point, when your Design Space is opening up, you're going to click on New Project. Once you click on New Project, the screen is going to come up of Design Space. When you are here at the screen, at this point, you're going to want to go to the left-hand side towards the bottom where it says Upload. Now you're going to click on Upload, and you're going to want to upload your image. So you'll click right here, Upload Image. Next, this screen is going to pop up. When you see this screen, you're going to want to click on Browse because you're going to want to browse your computer into your files of where you've saved it as. So we'll click on Browse. Mine is under Downloads. Heart, so double click. Next, this screen will pop up. At this point, this is where it has to do with the contrast of the colors. Um, I'll make another video that'll explain all of that, but just for video purposes, I'm just going to click on complex. So complex is selected, then I will click continue. Because this heart is, um, I guess, you know, there's an open space inside the heart, it is just the outline. So if you want to see what it was, what it would cut out as on your vinyl, you can click the bottom here where it says preview. Once you click on that, you'll see that the gray part will show you what is going to be cut out if you save it as a cut image. And we'll do another heart just so that I can show you for video purposes um, what the difference would be if you chose a different image. So we can go back to regular preview or just keep it as, um, you know, the grade part. It doesn't really matter at this point, but we're going to go ahead and click continue. Now, here's the difference between whether you're going to save it as a print then cut image or save it as a cut image. Now, a print then cut is if you had gotten an image that you want to print it first, and then cut the outline of it. And I'll make another video on how to do that. But for this video, we are going to save this as a cut image. So once we click here, the green will outline the image and it'll tell you that you're saving it as a cut image. Now over here, you can name it. It's, it already has heart next to it, so I'm just going to keep it as that. So just make sure that your image is outlined with the green. Because you want to save it as a cut image, then you'll click Save. 
Now you'll be at this screen and you'll want to go to your heart and click on that. It'll be outlined again with the green and you're going to click on insert images. Ta-da, your heart is now in Cricut Design Space. So here we have this heart now in Cricut Design Space. Now let me show you another um, issue with getting the image onto that contrasted page. Well, let's go there and I can explain it as you see it because I'm a very visual person. So let's go back to Google and let's try this pink heart. So here's this pink heart. We're going to do the same. We're going to write, we're going to click on it. We're going to select it. And then once it's here, we're going to right click, save image as. So again, you want to remember where you're saving it as. It's going to be in my downloads. So I'm just going to save it as heart two. Click save. Now we'll go back to Cricut Design Space. And at this point, at this point, we're already in the actual design space, right? So let's say we want to upload the other heart. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to upload. So click upload on the left side of your screen. We're going to upload the image again. So it'll take you back to this screen. So again, we'll click on browse. And this time we're gonna choose the second heart. So double click. Here we're back to this screen for video purposes only. I'll click on complex. So this will be highlighted with green and then I will click continue. So here we are next at this uh, screen again. If you were to just leave it as this image, here, let's check on preview at the bottom. So we'll click preview. If you don't select and erase the outer part of the heart, or if you forget to do that part, this is what will happen. So let's click on hide preview so that we can see the image again. So all this white space around the heart, we want to delete that. Okay, so we're going to click on select and erase over here. So we'll click on that, select and erase. And then we want to select the white part. So we'll click back over here on white and click that area with your mouse. Now you see the little boxes are around the heart. That's basically erasing that white portion that was around the heart. So to get a visual of now what would be uploaded into Design Space, we can click now on Preview at the bottom. So click Preview, and there's your heart. So don't forget, if you have that image and you want to take out that the space that's on the outer side of your image, you'll need to select and erase, okay? So that's how I want the, this heart to be in my Design Space. So I will click continue. And here we are again. Now, at this point, if you wanted to print the heart as a pink heart, this is where you would click print then cut image. So it would print from your computer, it would print a pink heart, and then it would cut out the heart, the outline of the heart, okay? So for this video, we're just going to go ahead and click on the cut image as if we were just going to cut this out like on vinyl. You could get like a red piece of vinyl and use red and it would cut out a red heart. So this is saved as heart two. I'll go ahead and keep it as heart two. Remember, you want to make sure that it's outlined with green because that's how it's going to save in design space. So if we wanted to print then cut, we would click here and make sure the green is selected. But again, we'll click over here so that it's a cut image. So we'll save it as a cut image and then we will click save at the bottom right corner. Now you're at this screen again. So we want to now upload this heart. 
and we will click insert images, but let's say you wanted to um, select more than one, you can do that. So you would select, you know, whichever ones you want to put into your design space, you would select those and click insert images. But we've already inserted the first heart, so we'll just select this one and click insert images. Ta-da, now you have both of the hearts in your Cricut Design Space. I hope this video helped you on how to be able to download the images from Google into your computer and upload them into Design Space. Also be very careful about copywriting. Um, it's okay to use these if you're making something for yourself, but um, without purchasing or you know having the copyright image, um, you cannot sell those images. So again, if you're making something just for yourself or as a gift, um, that's fine. So here you are. I hope this video helped you. Um, feel free to leave any comments or questions. And um, P.S. You're going to have a great day.